Welcome to another episode of Voice Breakdown. I'm your host, Bullwinkle J. Moose. Bullwinkle, you're not the host. Brandon is. No, I'm the host with the most. Besides, you already had your episode. Guys, guys, what's going on here? It was at this point that our heroes noticed how odd it was that they all looked exactly like Brendan Hodak, voice impressionist extraordinaire. Bullwinkle's trying to host the show again! I never had the host the first time! Bullwinkle was getting greedy, as he knew very well that he both opened and closed the previous episode. The narrator is right, Bullwinkle. You had your episode. But Rocky, I think it's time we break down your voice. Really? My voice? Oh boy! Let's break this voice down. Component number one, the vocal cords. The vocal cords are a very important component for Rocky's voice. Rocky's voice is very high pitched. This will definitely be in everyone's head voice range. Really push this pitch as Rocky tends to be talking at the very top of his range. The challenge for this though, is that there is a very nuanced degree of compression for Rocky. He is not in a completely disconnected, decompressed falsetto. He does not sound like Chee-Bowinkle, but there is a slight vocal cord connection. Chee-Bowinkle! This voice will likely be much easier for our female viewers than for our male viewers, as it is easier to have a more nuanced connection in this particular area of our ranges for women. In fact, Rocky was voiced by a woman, actress June Foray. Every once in a while, you will hear a slight rasp or distortion in Rocky's voice. This is very slight, but if you listen closely, it's there. This will be accomplished simply by giving the voice more power. Rocky is pretty loud most of the time. By pushing a little more air through the voice, you can get the chords to have a slight breakup or rasp to them. Oh no! And now, here to tell you everything about anything is Mr. Know-It-All. Component number two, the larynx. As we know, if we want a brighter voice, Raising the larynx is usually a part of this. Rocky's voice is no different. That being said, we don't want to overdo the larynx lift on this one. If we raise the larynx too much, it will not sound like him at all. But a little lift will be just perfect. While the larynx is not a pitch changer, it will tend to go up for most people as we raise our pitch. Therefore, it is likely that you will get the right larynx position just by focusing on the pitch. But if the voice sounds too dark, raise the larynx a bit, and if it sounds too bright, lower it a bit. Bullwinkle, not again! Component number three, the tongue. The simplest component of all for Rocky's voice. The tongue is not doing anything special at all for this voice. You can simply keep the front and back of the tongue in their normal positions and have the tongue relaxed as you typically would. That was easy! Component number four, the soft palate. The soft palate is an important component for Rocky. You might find that when doing this voice, it doesn't sound quite right. That will likely come down to two factors. The first might be that the voice is too decompressed, like we talked about for component number one, the vocal cords. We want that slight connection to add some strength to the voice. But the other likely component that might be imperfect is the soft palate you will really need to fine tune how much sound is going into the nose versus the mouth and find the right shape in the back of the throat to get the resonance to sound just right. I highly recommend recording yourself and shifting back and forth between tons of nasal resonance, tons of mouth resonance, and then trying to split the difference. If it is hard to think of the soft palate specifically, you can think of more or less vibration in your nose. Simply place your hand lightly on your nose and feel the buzz. Also, you can check out our component focus number four video for more help. I've got to help Bullwinkle and keep him out of trouble. Component number five, articulation. There's not too much to say about Rocky's articulation. He has really great diction. Occasionally, the vowel sound ah might be produced as eh. For example, the word travel might be more like travel. Travel! Other than this, he has a pretty standard American dialect. Your everyday all-American talking cartoon flying squirrel! Component number six, prosody. Prosody, or the melodic and rhythmic patterns of speech, is where Rocky's personality really shines through. Rocky is supposed to be an all-American boy, or squirrel, 
respectable and conscientious. He always tries to do right. These qualities tend to make his voice have an innocent quality to it. We want the inflection to move in such a way that he sounds excited and hopeful. You can do it, Bullwinkle! Compared to Bullwinkle, he is definitely the brains of the operation, which can sometimes frustrate him due to Bullwinkle's gullibility. This is reflected in his voice. Not again! Regardless of whether he is in a good mood or frustrated by Bullwinkle, his voice is always fairly loud and high-pitched. The voice always seems a little higher and louder than appropriate, almost like a young child who is always asking questions. Rhythmically, most of his sounds are stretched out. It is rare for him to have really quick or short syllables. So what? I like to take my time! Let's recap. Component number one, the vocal cords. The vocal cords should be stretched to achieve a higher pitch, there should be a light compression so they are not completely disconnected and breathy, and there can be the occasional slight rasp. Component number two, the larynx. The larynx should rise, but it can naturally rise as you raise your pitch. If the voice is too dark, be sure to raise it some more. Component number three, the tongue. Nothing to worry about here. Component number four, the soft palate. Lower the soft palate for nasal resonance, but be sure to fine tune this as it takes just the right amount of nasal resonance to get it just right. Component number five, articulation. Rocky has great articulation, but pay attention to some of the vowels, especially the A ah vowel, which is often pronounced as A. Ah. Component number six, prosody. Make sure to have that innocent boy-like charm. Thanks for letting me be a part of your show, Brandon. Of course. Would you like to close out the episode? Would I? Episode of New York Speech Coaching's Voice Breakdown. Be sure to check out future episodes of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. See you next time.